Forgive me. I had to kill tomorrow. Before it killed all of us. I must have been a child. Nine or ten. Toiling away with my blade one winter twilight in the courtyard. The stone was dewed by the previous night's fog. The only smattering of warmth. The rhythmic condensation of the breaths of my classmates. Hands numbed and whitened with a frost's bite. Iced in my armor, beneath layers of leather and tunic linen, I had awoken to the mundane prospect of a routine day, until, high upon the ramparts above me, emerged the figure of the young second countess. I paused between strikes and glanced up past the crenellation, hearing a voice resound in my mind. This one. She can do it. Later that evening, I came to understand why she had so deigned to present herself before us. On the Emperor's authority, a cloaked, wizened figure, the first of the many warrior monks I would meet afterward, summoned me from kitchen patrol and explained the situation. The Countess had come that morning to investigate my class for a candidate for knighthood, an unprecedented errand, to be sure, to look amongst a class of pages. And since that day, whenever the warrior monks report on the newest expansions of the Blight, and the Emperor assigns me to cleanse another island of shattered Aethra, I like to lay beneath the stars, ponder the transcendence of their condition, and I ask myself, if the future truly is so irreparably marred, why she chose me to be knighted.